hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Bessem aka the happy queen and I am going to be sharing you all the vibes on beauty <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing you tips on how to keep your skin clear. I'll talk about makeup, how makeup is great, but if you do not have clear skin underneath, it's going to be horrible. I'm sorry to say, but yes, I've been there and I have tried to work on my skin and it's better now. That's why I'm here to share with you guys. If you want to know the tips I use to get clear skin, keep on watching. Okay, so the first tip is to always wash your face. Wash your face before you go to bed and wash your face when you wake up from bed. Now, if you're so lazy to wash your face, make sure you have something like the face wipes by your bedside so it's easy for you to just reach out and clean. Yes, it's not going to be 100% clean, but at least it's better than going to bed with a face full of makeup. Well, there are people who have good skin. Whether they wash their faces before bed or they do not wash their faces before bed, they're not going to have acne but some of us have sensitive skin and you have to wash your face if not you're gonna develop acne in the morning okay so wash your face when you wake up in the morning so it stays fresh and it can breathe mm -hmm. okay so the second tip is to keep your hands off your face you don't want to be touching your face thank god for the pandemic preventive measures it actually reduces the chances of you developing acne because you don't get to take dirt onto your face if that makes sense third tip is to always wash your hands yes it's a follow-up of the second tip so if you mistakenly touch your face you're not going to carry germs to your face the fourth tip is to always keep your phone clean yes that's something we always use and if you're not using an earpiece to answer your phone calls you're always going to have your phone you know close to your jaw and if your phone is dirty it's going to transfer gems from your phone to your face so make sure you always clean your phone screen so you don't have to transfer dead onto your face also make sure you're washing your makeup brushes if you're a makeup person i have seen so many people who use makeup brushes for months and they don't even wash them you need to wash them because when you don't do that bacteria or gems actually grow in those brushes and in those sponges and what happens is you take them you transfer them to your face and start developing and you ask yourself like where is this coming from it's coming from your dirty brushes from your dirty makeup sponges yes your beauty blenders make sure your pillowcases and your beddings and anything you lay your head on is always clean most times we do not have clear skin we develop acne because of stress maybe because of excess fatty food consumptions and all that so find a way to distress yourself just watch a movie do anything that makes you happy go on a spa day just do anything that is going to make you relax and it's going to reduce that drink lots of water i have been doing that and i've seen a great change and you should try this honestly it works and if you're not be eating vegetables and fruit make sure you start taking that trust me your skin is going to thank you the last tip to get a clear skin is to keep your face routine simple look at the guys like they don't do so much forget about the fact they don't wear makeup they don't do too much and 90 percent of their faces are always clear and smooth but some of us <laughs> the ladies with all the face routines and all the products we use on our face we still have bad skin i mean 70% of us still have bad skin because I know people are out there who have clear, smooth skin. Recently, I've been using something. Let me show you how it looks like. This is called rose water and I actually did this at home. Rose water has anti-inflammatory properties that help you get rid of acne. It's also good for skin irritations in general. It's amazing. It keeps your face moisturized. And uh, rose water is actually one of the properties or one of the ingredients, should I say ingredients, that are used in... Um, setting sprays so you can always you do you see that what am i showing <laughs> so you can also use this as a setting spray so in my next video i'm going to share how to make rose water at home i hope this video was helpful give this video a thumbs up if you loved it i hope you practice the tips i just shared with you it has to be a lifestyle not something you're going to do and then you're going to forget about it my skin was crazy but i have been consistent and uh this is where it has brought me you know you actually feel good when your skin is clear your makeup is popping yes so i decided not to use a ring light to film this video i wanted to use natural light so you actually see how my face looks like so this is how my face looks like <laughs> i am not 
a pro i am not an expert when it comes to skincare but what i've just shared with you and this i have shown you actually works wonders it worked for me and i'm definitely sure if you're consistent it's going to work for you if you have um serious acne like bad acne i cannot guarantee 100 percent that this is going to work for you consider reaching out to a dermatologist and definitely they're going to help you so thank you guys for watching this video and see you in my next one bye